Hello everyone, welcome back to the today's episode of Logging Aid. Today, for this video, I will be showing you how you can create an account on Upwork. Now, first of all, you need to download the application on your mobile device. For that, go to Google Play Store, tap on search bar and type in Upwork. Click on search. As you can see on the top, I have already installed the application on your mobile device. So I'm going to tap open. You need to install at first. You can see the two options here, login and below that, new to Upwork, sign up. You click on sign up. You can sign up to Upwork with your Google account as well. As you can see, there's an option available, continue with Google. If you tap on continue with Google, your account will be created through the Google account as they will get interlinked with each other and Upwork account will register through there. But I will be showing you how to create your account through providing a proper email address. For that, tap on the empty text field and type in your email address. Then tap on continue with email. Now you need to provide your profile information. Tap on the first name and type in your name. Then type in your last name. You need to provide the password for your account. Then you choose the country from which you are. Once you have filled in the text field, you can see I want to hire and work. There's two options available. That is, why do you want to use Upwork? Are you using Upwork to hire somebody or you want to work through Upwork? I'm going to click on work. You need to provide your username. Here are a few suggested username. You can choose any option in here. I'm going to choose this one. Now you tap on the checkbox in here on both and then tap on create my account. Before creating an account, you need to verify your email address. Upwork has sent a verification mail to your email address. Now you need to check your mail first. For that, go to your mail. You can see in the top the mail. Tap open a email from Upwork. Here you just need to tap on verify email. Now if you open Upwork, the verification has been completed and it will move forward to another process. Tap on continue, tap on start my profile. Would you like to fill out your profile? If you already have a LinkedIn profile, you can upload your profile by tapping on the option fill your LinkedIn profile. Or you can also click on fill out manually option. Now I'm going to go with the fill out manually. Now the first option is tell us what the work you do. Now, what is the main service you can offer? You can change the option. You can change this on later on as well. But for now, if you are going to join or work because I want to be a virtual assistant or graphic design job, writing jobs, make sure to fill that out. For that, click on the drop down menu. Now here you choose the main category. I'm going to go with the design and creative. Now here you need to choose a subcategory as well for that. And I'm just going to go with graphic editorial and presentation design you click on next select your skills now what you're looking for you can start typing to search for skills so for example uh, you're gonna type in uh, graphic design you can hear the option you can see here select up to nine more skills you can just choose nine more skills over here i'm just gonna go with the one option as this is just a tutorial video Tap on next. What is your level of experience in this field? There's entry level, intermediate and expert. If you have been doing whatever that you have chosen as your skill from the very beginning, whatever skills that you have been doing, if you are, you've been doing it for quite a while, you can click on intermediate, but let's say you're just completely new, you can put on entry level. I'm going to tap on entry level. Then tap on next then they ask you for education so you can click on add education now you type in all the details in here you can type in you can provide the degree you can even provide the date that you have attended from and to the date that you have graduated here you can describe your education your awards your graduation certificates 
make sure you add as much as you can but i'm just gonna skip this step but i recommend you fill out all the information over there and your past work experience you click on add employment now here you can add any companies your job your location your job title then the period of time that you have worked from them so for example if you have worked from 2010 2015 or you currently work over there right now again i recommend you fill out every detail because you do want to get approved to become a freelancer for upwork so you need to fill out all the details carefully i'm just gonna skip this step what is your english proficiency i'm just gonna tap on fluent what other languages do you speak you can tap on add language and choose the language that you are good at other than english or any other languages that you know now here you can add more than one languages over here click on next now here you have the chance to set your hourly rate how much do you want to charge people for your service you can do some research before you set your hourly rate maybe you want to put it something like twenty dollar per hour ten dollar per hour depending on your skills and what the general pay rate is now i want to explain upwork service fee you can see over here so the upwork service fee is twenty percent when you begin a contract with a new client once you bill over five hundred dollar with your client the fee will be 10 percent so here's upwork pricing so when you first start with your client there will be 20 percent fee that means basically let's say you did a job for a hundred dollar for a client upwork would take 20 dollars and you would keep 80 dollars and then once you have made over 500 dollar with a client upwork will then upwork only charges 10 dollar so if you do the job over more than ten thousand dollars upwork will only charge five percent so i'm just gonna close this now here for example i'll show you if you put your hourly rate uh, fifty dollars you see upwork service fee will take up to ten dollar and you will get forty dollar per hour so i'm just gonna skip this step so here you need to provide a title and then provide few of professional overview or highlight your top skill your experience your interest in work and the details or the title that you have provided over here will be the first thing the client will see on your profile here before you add all the you can check on the learn more and get ideas about how you can write your professional overview you can surely get a great ideas if you research a little bit i'm just gonna skip this step over here now here you need to add profile picture for your upwork you can just tap on add profile you need to add a professional looking photo over here skip this step now here you need to provide your country details once you have provided all the details you click on next you need to add your phone number over here choose a country code then provide your phone number for here then click on view profile and with that you have created your profile you skipped some steps you must complete this before you can submit your profile so i would have to add my education but you can see here this is what overall your profile for upwork will look like if you want to make any edits that you have provided you just need to click on the icon over here then you can just edit your details overall again you can see i cannot submit my profile as i haven't fully provided the details like profile picture profile title education so i cannot submit this right now but once you provide all the details in here you will be able to submit your profile and upwork will review your profile so this is how overall your profile will look but it's just a tutorial video so i haven't provided all the details of mine over here hope this video was useful and you have learned how you can create a profile on upwork please like and subscribe the login channel and do click on the bell icon for the notification and updates thank you Thank <laughs> you.